What's up, YouTube world? This is Steven again. It is currently 10.55 a.m. on April 22nd of 2023, and I would like to welcome you all to my top 10 song reviews list from song reviews 801 to 850. I'll be getting back to my recommendations tomorrow, but I wanted to get this list out of the way while I recently finished my last 50. And I have 10 songs here. The top five, as usual, are pretty set in stone, but the uh, bottom five are kind of interchangeable here and there, I guess, depending on my mood. But without further ado, we're going to get straight into it. Coming at number 10 is Beyond Adaptation by Becoming the Archetype, song review number 808. This song was amazing in every way. The guitar riff riffing was so rhythmic all, all throughout the entire song, and it was lightning quick. The drums were absolutely powerful, and that is a massive understatement to how powerful they truly were. The unclean vocals from the vocalist were brutal, dirty, and harsh. There was also a hard headbanging breakdown. I did not get a guitar solo, but I'm not taking away from this song for that just because of how amazing the, how amazing the riffing was. Command number 9 is Vacant Room by For All Eternity, song review number 841. This song was awesome. There were not one, but two hard headbanging breakdowns. I loved the structure of this song, especially in the beginning. The guitar was rhythmic and melodic. The drums were so powerful, but not overpowering. The uncleans were filthy as ever. Those cleans, though, so damn eye-popping. The Vacated used to be my favorite song by them. However, this one, I think, passed it. The Vacated... It, this one I think just passed the vacated and is my new favorite for all eternity song. Coming in at number 8 is Human by Anne is OK, song review number 847. This song was absolutely amazing and it did not disappoint at all. The instruments impressed me, the guitar riffing was phenomenal, and the drums were so powerful yet you could hear both of them so clearly. They also did not overpower the vocals. The cleans were excellent and the uncleans were filthy, dirty, harsh, and brutal. There was also an amazing hard headbang breakdown followed by a soft portion to end the song. The structure of the song was like no other. It was amazing and it got the rating it rightfully deserved. Coming in at number 7 is Fighting Myself by Linkin Park, song review number 833. Uh, keep resting in paradise, Chester Bennington. This song was so amazing in every way, shape, and form. All the instruments in this song were phenomenal. The freestyle vocals during each verse were fast and upbeat. The vocals by Chester during the chorus were raw and spoke the truth. This was one of their heavier songs and it did not disappoint. However, the reason I gave it the rating it received is because this song gave me faint vibes and faint is my favorite song from their entire discography. It was incredible. Coming in at number 6 is The Migrant by Shadow of Intent, song review number 836. This song was awesome and super heavy. The drums were the best part as they were lightning quick and amazingly powerful throughout the entire song. The guitar riffing was excellent too. The guitar solo was also lightning quick and very rhythmic. The uncleans from the vocalists never failed to impress me. They are harsh and his gutturals are brutal, filthy, and dirty. Let's not forget that hard headbanging breakdown from this one either. This song was everything I wanted and then some. Now we're getting into my top 5. Coming in at number 5 is Oxytocin by Before I Turn, song review number 849, my uh, second to most recent song review, or third to most recent actually. Man oh man, this song was phenomenal. The gutturals from the vocalist were insane and brutal. Those cleans were so damn eye-popping and amazing in general. The instruments were also amazing, were as amazing as the vocals. The guitar and drums were both great and I loved them even more during each breakdown. Speaking of which, we got not one but two of those. I would say I liked the second one better. Before I Turn never fails to deliver as this was yet another banger song from them. Coming in at number 4 is Ghost by If I Were You, song review number 823. Uh, when I say this song was amazing, that's a massive understatement. The cleans from Randy were eye-popping, per usual. They always make me eye-pop. Uh, Kyle's uncleans were filthy and his gutturals were so damn brutal. The drums were powerful, there was also a hard headbanging breakdown, and since it was If I Were You, of course there was a BAM! Uh, the best part of this song, though, was... All of that amazing guitar riffing, it went throughout the entire song from beginning to end. This whole song was truly incredible. Coming in at number 3 is Oathbreaker by Bless the Fall, song review number 815. This song was absolutely amazing in every way, shape, and form. 
Bo's cleans were eye-popping as they always are. Jared's uncleans were harsh, brutal, and filthy. The drums were so powerful. The guitar riffing through the guitar riffing though was absolutely amazing and it went from beginning to end. Both instruments blended so damn well with one another. I even got a heart head banging breakdown from this song. However, I expected nothing less from my now favorite song off of their To Those Left Behind album. Coming in at number two is Moros by Conviction, song review number 827. Good God, this song was amazing. And that is an understatement of biblical proportions. This song had it all. There were not one, but two hard head band breakdowns. There, were, there was amazing guitar riffing. The drums were so powerful, yet not overpowering. The cleans were eye-popping. The uncleans were filthy. The gutturals were harsh and brutal. I have listened to numerous Conviction songs on my channel, and they have all gotten great ratings. This song continues that great rating streak. And coming in at number one on my top 10 song reviews list from 801 to 850 is The Endless March by After the Burial, song review number 800. In song review number 830 this song was absolutely phenomenal the guitar riffing was the guitar riffing just bitch slapped me right in the face off the bat and it was so amazing the drumming was so powerful and the guitars and drums mixed so well especially during that one instrumental portion the uncleans were great i even liked the screams from the unclean vocalist and that's very very rare why i like the screams there were also not one, but two hard headbanging breakdowns. This was yet another song from their Dig Deep album that didn't disappoint. It was overall amazing. So that is my top 10 song reviews list from 801 to 850. Hit me up in the comment section below and let me know if any of yours made it on this list. And let me know some of your favorites from song reviews 801 to 850. Those are my top 10 favorite uh, in order from number 10 to number 1. And uh, this was kind of a tough list to make but not too too difficult um just because there were a lot of bands on my uh on my old reliable album that made it on this list but yeah still a great list and uh can't wait for another 50 to start we already got started with song review number 851 and i'm going to be getting back to my uh recommendations starting tomorrow but if you liked what you saw in this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and comment below and i'll see you guys next time with another video this is steven signing out